Hi, this is Joshua Holm with Dust of the Earth, and I want to make a video about faster EFT. You know, just about every client that I get, um, it's kind of dawned on me that clients don't really come to you because they have some symptom that suddenly arises, but but rather they've been dealing with things um, for a while, you know, low energy, low stress resilience, or being high strong, those kinds of things for a while. But really what makes them reach out to someone like me who can try to help them is they have a, they have emotions that come up and, you know, it's kind of dawned on me that every single person has a, a set of emotions that are trub troubling them, sometimes plaguing them. And really there's emotional problems at the root of health issues because health issues um, tend to, I mean, of course they, they come about from toxicities, nutritional deficiencies, you know, um, capturing pathogens and not being able to um, get rid of them on, on their own. And uh, just, you know, having kind of all kinds of deficiencies, even from, uh, even from movement deficiencies or sunlight deficiencies and those kinds of things. But I find that what drives most of the health problems, like what, at, what is at its root is people don't take care of themselves because they don't care for themselves or they don't believe uh, they kind of live in a, a false reality where not taking uh, taking care of yourself is really not something that's absolutely crucial. And so as an addendum to my mineral balancing programs, I also want to teach a tool that I use for my own uh, for my own mental and emotional issues. You know, I, I come from a um, I was a troubled youth. I was a heroin addict, cocaine, alcohol, rampant promiscuity. I've been clean for for hmm, about over 10 years now. But still, it's occurred to me that I have the emotional things in me that caused those things in the first place. And I'd learned coping things and I'd learned how to love myself better and I'd learned um, how to to even repress feelings, um, only to have them pop their ugly heads up later in another way. But it's 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 um, still there a lot a lot of them a lot of those emo emotional things. So I learned EFT uh, the faster EFT technique um, designed by Robert Jean Smith, the Utaptics creator. And what I like about Robert's uh, technique is it doesn't take you to be some yogi master, or some, uh, you know, years of meditation or talk therapy or, or um, rigorous EMDR se sessions or psychedelic therapy or anything like that. It's, it's a lot easier and you don't have to have some belief in it or some e extreme discipline in it. You can uh, you can remove a, a memory, a feeling, a, a phobia, an addiction, um, anxiety from your body over a certain thing that, and it will never return. And it's, and it's really simple. And I'm going to demo in this video how that's done. Um, because I have a, I have a certain burden for every single person. You know, I, I look at every person that comes to me and asks me for health advice, and I look at them as a brother or sister. I, I care about them because I've, I've been in their shoes, but also I, I see their, their potential and their insecurity. And I, I want to see them change in the ways that they themselves want to change. And most people don't even know their, their potential. And that's not to say that I have some like desire to change people, but, but rather I, I, I know what it's like to feel completely repressed as a person and not, you know, having these, these limiting beliefs that really get in the way of, of actually seeing yourself as somebody that can accomplish things or, or is worthy of love or, or whatever. There's so many, there's so many things that people deal with and there's so many emotional challenges. And what I'm finding is that it's actually unbelievably simple to get rid of these things, things as serious as the death of a loved one, or, you know, a lifelong phobia of driving or something like that. 
you can get rid of just about any one of your problems. Now you might have some hesitance there and say, well, who would I be without my problems? And yeah, you know, a lot of people find their, their emotional and personality identity in their problems. And some people use their problems to get attention as well. And so it's not like I'm trying to take, you're trying to take anything from yourself, but I think that without your problems, you're only better in every way. And so it behooves you to actually get to the bottom of it and face your demons, do your inner work, do, you know, do those things. And so the faster EFT actually, it, it, you can use it actually to even reverse pain. A lot of people um, will reverse their limiting belief that they'll never walk again. And so they'll start to, they'll start to actually, uh, their body will actually work better. I've seen that people's chronic illnesses actually start to shed off once they start to deal with the emotional underlying things of, of those things. And so what I do with hair testing, hair, hair testing and mineral balancing is we're looking right at what's going on in your body, what um, nutritional deficiencies and what um, mineral toxicities you have at the present. What and what things that we can do to fix those at a fast rate that you couldn't do with just a food or diet dietary changes. And so we can give you therapeutic um, doses of, of vitamins and minerals that will really balance you out. Sometimes reverse traumas all, all, all on their own just by using that. Um, but what we're not getting at is the, is the root emotional cause, right? Um, the high, high, um, driving stress and the fear and the, you know, the, the belief that you're nothing without your, yeah, you're nothing without your, you know, stress causers, you know, whether it's that your job or your money or your, your, um, keeping up with the Joneses or whatever it might be for you. So every single person is different, but we, we all have these problems. I definitely have dealt with problems. I've, I've watched every single person that I know um, has ex extreme things that I feel like they need to get over. And I'm not saying that in a, in a harsh way. I don't think that people know how to get over their things. But I, I think that the faster EFT method actually helps us do that. And so I'll get into what that is. And, and you know, I, I ask you take this series. It kind of seems a little bit strange, seems a little bit silly, but Hey, so does walking your entire life, um, with a trauma, you know, with a rape or a beating or a phobia or an eating disorder, like that's a strange thing to carry with you your whole life. So, um, learning this technique is, is small potatoes compared to that. Um, so what you do is you take you, the most powerful thing is to change a memory. And memories are, are a way that our mind um, captures something to remind us uh, of a, a system that's in place that's sort of like a proof of why you feel a certain way and um, why you should you know, hold on to this for survival. You know, so some of our most vivid memories are negative and our minds especially... Um, uh, especially adept at capturing negative experiences for the sake of survival. But a lot, a lot of us just carry these negative things with us our entire lives and they're no longer serving us for survival. Um, they're really just actually hurting us. And so it's, so we just let that go. So what you, you do is, and this is just a run, a rundown. Okay. I mean, we can definitely do a session, uh, where we work one-on-one, -on -one. I'd, love to do that with with you but i want to teach the basic recipe and how this is done you take a a memory you know a memory that's that's fairly intense it can bring you from um from a five to a ten just by thinking about it so you think about that memory let's for instance just say that it's a um uh, your dad was beating you and you know, I, I realize that not everybody has these serious traumas, but I'm just using this as an example. You know, some people, it just might be how they felt when um, they ate that cake or, or um, you know, how they, how they handle stress, um, 
those kinds of things, but for the sake of this. So you're going to want to capture the memory in every detail that you possibly can get that aim at that emotion, try to intensify it. And right when you have it, start tapping here and say, let it, I let it go. All the fear, all the insecurities, all the self-hate, all the traumas, all the phobias, I let it go. I release and let it go. And you take a deep breath, exhale and say peace. Okay, so this is what's going on. So you're thinking of the, me the, the memory and then you're defracking it, basically scratching the CD so it doesn't play very good by tapping on these acupuncture meridian points. And then you're anchoring the memory into peace by grabbing the wrist, taking a, a deep breath, which is a parasympathetic um, action, helps you your nervous system calm down. And then you say peace, which conjures a peaceful image, a memory. Um, and, and, that, and what that is doing is it's taking the memory and it's, and it's defracking it so it doesn't play right. And then it's anchoring it into peace. And so it's becoming an incomplete negative memory. It's become, going from negative to positive and it's rendering it insignificant to the mind that only wants to remember negative things. And so when you can break apart these memories, it starts to break apart the whole system of the emotion. And so you, you go check the memory again. This isn't going to happen one, two, three times through. It often happens uh, very slowly and you have to go through the process several times. But you check on it. You capture it. Okay. I, I release and let it go. It's safe to let it go. It's safe to let it go. Peace. Now you're thinking, okay, what your dad's face looked like when he was hurting you, um, how intense you felt, how helpless you felt, and you start to tap, tap on the face, whatever comes to mind. I let it go. I release and let it go. His face. I let it go. Peace. So now you're going to notice how the memory might have changed. Maybe it, you feel less intense over it. You should, after a few uh, cycles through, feel less intense. Now, has the memory turned black and white? Has the show focus shifted from your dad's face to your face, or maybe the face of your sister who was watching? So you're going to notice what you're noticing, and you're going to release that. Let it go. Her face. I let it go. Helplessness. Let it go. Peace. And you're going to do that until basically you're, you're going, you're from a 10 down to your hard. It's hard to count, conjure up a, the emotion of two. And so you want to bring things down to zero. And then once you've resolved that, that fight and you feel no more harsh feelings, helplessness, anger, um, abuse from your dad, you, you're thinking of your kids, everybody in the, in the memory seems to have smiling faces because you've rendered it into peace so many times that it's actually like a peaceful memory. And so what you do then, and this might take 20 minutes of doing this, but it works. I'm telling you it works. It's, it's vetted. I've changed memories. I've changed nightmares. I've, I've, I've been studying this for a long time. I use it just about every single day and I'm telling you that it works. And so if you want to get rid of your problems, do this. Um, so you tap through, pinpoint that memory, aim onto it. And if another memory comes up, go to that one too, after this one and go clean that one up too. We want to clean up every little room in the house until, you know, our mansion, our inner mansion is just immaculate and clean up anything that gives you an emotional response. Watch a scary, a scary movie, tap, watch a sad movie, tap. You know, you think of something sad, you tap, you know, you have feelings, emotions that you shouldn't have tap, you know, and, and so once you've resolved that fight with your, with your dad, with your mom, anybody, you, what's good, once you've resolved it and everybody's peaceful, close your eyes, take a breath, think about your child, your inner child in that moment at that memory, go give them a hug. Give your dad a hug, give your sister a hug and 
if there's any resistance at all, if there's still anger, if there's still fear, you feel like one of those people is still upset, tap on that, bring it to a zero. And, and what you're going to find is that you've, you've, you've taken away something that you carried with you as a burden your entire life. And you've realized it only took 15 minutes to do that. And you could do that with anything else. And so this is why they call it EFT, the emotional freedom te tapping technique or emotional freedom technique. And it, it is, there's nothing like it in therapy. Every rehab therapy needs to get on this. They need to use this. This is, I mean, it's becoming a very popular now, but it's still yet to be adopted by the mainstream and it is powerful. So I wanted to impart that to you because um, I care about you. Um, I, even though I don't know you, I'm sure if I sat across from you and heard your story and, and talked to you about your health, that um, it wouldn't take long for me at all to, to care about you. And so if you want to get a hold of me, please do. You can message me through Facebook or at dustoftheearthmb at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching this.